Uh, today I'm going to make a songer fly. Uh, it's a fairly easy songer fly, but it's going to be a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit of a feisty one. Uh, I'm going to make it with the, uh, with this uh, black, uh, pink, and uh, and uh, white uh, uh, rabbit. Um, it's a nice fly uh, where we are not going to use uh, too many materials, so it's. Um, yeah, it's 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 pretty basic, um, but we're gonna use some of these new uh, dubbing brushes to to make the body. Um, we're also gonna use some, uh, of course, some rabbit. Uh, and as you can see, I've I've, uh, I've cheated a bit and started out by making some uh, some uh, adding some some weight to this. Uh, we're also gonna use uh, some of these uh, cool uh, uh, soft heads. Uh, as the finishing touch, instead of making a glue head, we're gonna add one of these uh, plastic heads uh, and uh, and do some eyes and stuff like that. And uh, finally, we're gonna use some uh, some marabou. Well, first off, um, when you have a, a rabbit like this, uh, uh, you 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 need to you need to make sure that the 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 skin part of it is is nice and flexible. So it's it's a good idea to just start out by it, by pulling it a bit. Uh, to making uh, make it uh, it more uh, uh, well, make it I don't know, I don't know if flexible is the right word but at least make it make it uh, make it not as stiff uh, make it more soft so uh, so it will it will move better in the water. Um, I'm gonna do this uh, the easy way. Um, it's not gonna be the as strong as it could be. Uh, if if I had a ribbing, I would turn all the way up there. But I'm gonna do it the easy and the fast way uh, because I think that is sufficient for for most fishing situations. I'm using a Partridge CS54 saltwater hook. Uh, you can use any streamer hook, but this has a nice curve. And, uh, and I'm gonna use this fly for for daily sea trouts. So that's why I've chosen that particular hook. So I'm just gonna tie this down right here. Making sure everything is uh, is where I want it to be, like so. The 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 pink color is uh, is one of my fav all time favorite colors for uh, for the Danish coastline, uh, for for sea trout. I don't know, but there is something just something about pink that uh, that that trout in general seems to just uh, just go for, just to uh, to have everything in place and and not to be annoyed by it later on. I'm just gonna add some saliva to this rabbit here, so uh, so I can. Uh, I can uh, I can treat it as I want here, and as you can see, it's it's going to be fairly easier to work with now. Later on, I'm going to give this uh, this down here uh, uh, some uh, some varnish to make sure that uh, that it stays uh, it stays in place and, and does not uh, does not uh, uh, get disrupted or uh, or destroyed by by pike uh, not pike sorry by sea trout trout teeth like so. Then I'm going to take one of these uh, dubbing brushes here. Uh, and this is in uh, in, uh, in pearl, ice pearl, I think actually this is. Just gonna use some thread to to secure it. Yeah. And then I'm gonna cut it off. But since it's on a, it's 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 twisted, it's it's made on a metal wire. You need to to make sure that you're not using your regular scissors, because the the tip of your regular scissors will uh, will easily be destroyed by this uh, this metal. So. This is a fairly large hook. This is a size four. I've made this fly also uh, <laughs> the Danish video in a size uh, in a size eight, which looks great as well. In a size eight, you can use this string for multiple flies, but probably in in the size four here. Well, maybe let's see. Ah, you you can you can only use it for for one uh, for one fly. But this uh, this string here, um, there is uh, ten in in the package, and there are about. Uh, about if if you add if you if you if you calculate the price of the individual strand, I think it's about point point three euros or something like that uh, a piece. So so they're not they're not that expensive. But as you can see, a very very easy way to to make a a, a nice and uh, and uh, and uh, and and right body that has the right proportions. So I was gonna add some more saliva to this. Gonna turn this up here. Gonna pull it a lot, so I'm I'm sure it is where I want it to be, and that is there. Make sure the the hairs are distributed in the right way. 
Right, so as you can see, I have a bit of distance up to uh, towards the uh, the eye, and that's uh, that's on purpose because uh, I need that space to tie in some other stuff and uh, to to make room for uh, for the head. So, cutting off my rabbit skin here, the leftover rabbit skin. And uh, if you don't have this uh, this this small amount of space, you can easily get this rabbit skin. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna go out over out over the eye and uh, and make your fly a bit hard to <laughs> to actually tie onto your leader. <laughs> so so be sure to uh, to address that uh, that 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 potential problem. As you can see now, uh, the fly here has a, a bit of a, of a uh, it's a bit wise, you could say. It has a, a bit of a large head, but that doesn't uh, that that's uh, that's no concern to us because we're going to add one of these heads here, so uh, so everything is going to be uh, is going to be covered up uh, nice and uh, nice and easily. Uh, the final part here is I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take a woolly bugger marabou uh, feather, uh, and I'm going to strip one of the sides here. Just gonna do it by hand. You could use your uh, your magic tool from uh, Mark Petitjong. That would be a nice. Uh, that would be uh, a, a, a nice a nice way to do it. But uh, I, <laughs> I can't recall where I put mine. So just gonna do it by hand. I'm gonna take the other side as well, like that. And as you can see, if I ever if I've had my Mark Petitjong magic tool, this would have been a, s a lot easier. I should have thought of that before. So now I have uh, two bundles of uh, fairly, fairly uh, equal length of marabou. Just cutting off the the, the stumps, and uh, this is going to be my hackle. So I'm going to tie this down, so it's going to be uh, distributed all the way around, as as evenly as I can, all the way around the hook like so because then I'm gonna use uh, and as you can see I have all the, 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 the those are pointing forward because I'm gonna use uh, the head to, uh, to to force them backwards so I'm gonna cut off the marabou here without cutting off uh, uh, too much of the <laughs> of the uh, of the rabbit so be sure you get almost, or or you get completely only the. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's going to be some uh, some some stumps left from uh, from the mother marabou. I'm gonna make a small um, whip finish here because my fly is basically done. Tying down, cutting off. You could apply some varnish if you wanted to there. Then I'm gonna take this soft head. Push it over here. Oh, that was a bit too far. Push it over here, and as you can see here, I have the marabou hackle, which is going to look like uh, the fins of the of the the sculpin or baitfish or whatever kind of baitfish you you would like this to be. And uh, uh, and To make sure that this is gonna stay there, I'm just gonna make a small bundle of tying thread out in front here, like this. Cut off that. Tie it down like so. And then, as the final touch, I'm gonna add a small, uh, a small eye, um, using some super glue. Uh, this uh, this head has a small dentation, uh, which is uh, perfectly suited for for a small uh, 3D eye. So I'm gonna use a silver 3D eye in uh, in a size uh, in a size uh, four millimeters because uh, this head size is is actually extra small, and that fits the uh, the four millimeter uh, 3D eyes. So just added a small amount of glue into the groove, added the eye, and uh, well, there you have it. 
the small pink <laughs> or not so small the the the, the, the pink bait fish um, made with the dubbing brushes and uh, and pro soft hit um, um, a nice a nice provocation provocation fly that uh, that works greatly um, also, I'd like to say to all of you people who have, who have subscribed to the channel and and who has followed in my in my small project, thank you, thank you ever so much for all the nice comments and and all the the emails and and stuff like that. That is uh, really really nice to 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 hear that uh, that you like uh, like the videos. Uh, I enjoy making them, so so thank you a lot for that. Well, those were the words. Thank you for uh, tuning in.